Hey everyone, in the news this week. According to the BBC, two boys aged 16 died in London after being stabbed a mile apart. That must have been an exceptionally long knife. There's also a report out about the number of restaurants being forced to close due to the ruinous cost of gas and electricity. I asked my local Chinese place if they'd struggled with the cost of keeping the lights on and the owner told me he'd had to dim some. There's also talk about raising the retirement age years earlier than initially planned. And as things stand, I'm too young to really be up in arms about it. Although from what I've heard, retirement is a bit like being on a permanent holiday, except without any money or sun or scantily clad beach goers or cheap booze. So basically a holiday in Britain then. But I guess the main story from the last week was the World Cup, where there have been a series of truly shocking results. Saudi Arabia beat the favourites Argentina, who put on one of their worst performances since the Falklands War. I've not seen the Saudis celebrate that much since the price of oil went over $100, with thousands of fans celebrating by punching the air, at least the ones that hadn't been convicted of shoplifting. And the US also managed to hold England to a draw. Supposedly they'd hired in a specialist in shooting. Who? Alec Baldwin? And of course, as a backdrop, Qatar have been trying their hardest to be the worst host since Fred and Rosemary West. There have been tales of journalists being silenced just as much as the players and the fans. The English FA may have been brave enough to put up a rainbow set of lights on Wembley Stadium, but apparently their outrage didn't stretch far enough to allow Harry Kane to wear an armband. I'm personally interested in seeing what happens if some rain falls during a game, you know, hitting the sun's rays and casting a huge whopping rainbow over the entire stadium, if not the country. But it's okay, England fans, they did spend two seconds briefly kneeling down, so you know they really mean it when it comes to racism, and it's not just some kind of tokenistic gesture done to appease a vocal minority, as if you could hear a vocal minority when there were 40,000 other fans in the stadium, allegedly. Anyway, see you next week. Like these, click subscribe. Bye.